So my first run, when I decided to lose the weight, I was, like I said, 297. I was about 32% body fat. And I went, my idea was to run four miles for my first run. I didn't know how bad it's gonna fucking hurt me. I used to run before I was fat, and I was like, fuck it, I can do this. I ran a quarter mile and walked home. I walked home, sat on my couch and cried. I went to my mom's house, who was about maybe 20 minutes down the road, and cried again in her couch, saying, I can't fucking do this shit. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And my mind just kept fucking with me. And kept fucking, you're not good enough, man. This isn't for you, man. These guys are the baddest motherfuckers on the planet Earth. You're not that. If I try to make it all pretty and shit, that's not what my life was. It was a violent, violent struggle daily to get where I'm at today. I'm not gonna water it down. I'm not gonna water it down. Shit wasn't fun. It ain't fun today. She came back in. All I wanna do is call Chris Costner on the phone, the race director of Bad Waters. I fucking did it. So she said, I'm taking it to the doctor. I said, no, let me sit here and enjoy this pain. She said, what are you talking about? I said, you know, I go, I need to go to the doctor. I realize that. But I never thought it was humanly possible to do what I did. All that pain and suffering and things was going through my fucking body. And I sat in that tub and, and, and the waters hit me. And it was the most amazing feeling of accomplishment. And I want to be numb. I didn't want people to give me drugs and, and to numb this fucking pain. I wanted to. I did this. Weak people hear this soft kid. Oh my God, he must be miserable. Oh my God, what the hell's wrong with him? You're missing the fucking story. You're not listening to the story, man. Look what I overcame. You're missing the story, man. Am I happy? What the fuck do you think? Happiest person in the world. But I'm not done. <laughs>